this candlestick pattern we have right here is what we call a morning star pattern. In this one, we're gonna take a look at the pattern, what makes the pattern, and why is it important in trading. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Before looking at some shards, let's zoom in a bit and take a look at what the pattern actually is. So let me pop up paint here. All right, so the morning star pattern. What is it? Well, first of all, it is a pattern of three candlesticks and the pattern is considered a bottom reversal pattern. So it is a bullish reversal. And now let's take a look at the three candles that makes up the pattern. So candle one is a long red candle or to be more precise, it is a long red real body. And by the way, if you are unfamiliar with any terms I'm using here, uh, I actually have a video about the basic uh, candlestick pattern terminology, and I can link it up in the corner in the eye. So if you are unfamiliar with any terms, I recommend watching that video before continuing with this one. But yeah, the first candle is a long red real body. So if you know the terms, you know that the real body is the body that looks like a rectangle here. So it would look something like this, maybe has some shadows like this. And then candle two. So candle two is a small real body that doesn't touch the red real body. So it would look, for example, something like this. It's important that the real body here is small, but it doesn't matter if the shadows, for example, looks like this. If the shadows cross over to the red candles real body, doesn't really matter. And it also is okay if, if this candle right here is either red or green. If you're looking for a bullish reversal, green might be a tiny bit better, but it doesn't really matter here. When this candle appears after a strong negative momentum, that means that the bears are losing control and losing momentum. The third candle here. The third candle is a green real body that goes deep into the red one. So it would look, for example, something like this. You can see that the green real body here, what we mean, what I mean by going deep here is that the green real body goes all the way up here. So it goes up deep within the red candle like this. And in order for it to be a real morning star pattern, we need the green candle to go deep within the red one. And preferably, we want to see the green candle gap up here. So if we delete this part, it would be even better if we have some space between the small green real body and the next candle, candle two and candle three. This is not a must, but in a perfect case, we want a, a gap up here. But as I said, it's okay if the green one looks more like this. All right. And another thing here is uh, a good thing to know about this pattern is that the lowest low of the pattern should act as support. So in this case, the lowest low of the pattern is this blue point right here. So in this case, we should have some kind of support line here. And one thing that is always true with supports is that if we have been seeing reactions at this price level before and this Morningstar pattern reinforces the support that is better. So the more, the more touches on the support line, the stronger. But let's say, for example, that the lower shadow of the red one was all the way down here, then this support would more accurately be all the way down here. But again, support lines aren't really lines. They are more like zones. So, so you should never look at support lines as exact lines. But all right, guys, I think we're now ready to look at some shards. But before doing that, I just want to give a quick, quick disclaimer here that everything in this video is for educational purposes only and nothing in this video should be considered as any type of financial advice. But yeah, guys, now take a look at some shards here. All right, guys, so here we have NVIDIA, a US tech stock that has been performing very well recently. And this one we showed in the beginning that we have a morning star pattern right here. 
And let's take a look at this one and see, okay, so why is this one a morning star? Well, first of all, the first candle, candle one, is a red large real body. And that was our criteria for the first candle. Another criteria, as we said in the beginning, is that this is a reversal pattern. In order for it to be a reversal pattern, we need a downtrend prior to the pattern. And here we can see that we have a clear downtrend. The second candle here is, has a small real body and it doesn't touch the red one. So that is true. And the third candle here, we can see that it goes pretty deep into the red one. And our criteria for the second candle is basically that the real body of the green one goes deep into the red one and that it does. And also, according to what we said, we should get support around this blue line right here. And as we can see here, the price action reversed after this morning star and a price increase started to happen. Let's take a look at one more example. All right, so now we're taking a look at the NASDAQ index right here. And can you see the morning star I'm trying to identify here? Well, the pattern I'm thinking of is actually, it's not easy to see, but I'm thinking of this one right here. Because here we had a we had a downwards movement here, clear downwards movement. We had a large red candle right here. Then the second candle, the candle right right there, is a small real body. And when we zoom in, we can actually see that it doesn't touch the red one. So technically this one meets the criteria for a morning star pattern. We can also see that the third candle, the green one here, goes goes all the way up here, so it goes deep in to the red one. And after this pattern, we had some sideways movement here before the price continued to the upside. But all right, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you found any help or value out of it, please consider dropping a like. And if you guys want to see more similar videos, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also, if you have any comments regarding the video or about what you want me to do next, please leave a comment down below. Yeah, guys, for now, take care. Ciao, ciao.